All right, continuing now with 8.5 properties of logarithms of now on example two. So what I want to do is I want to expand this, okay? And when we're expanding, um, basically the best way to look at this is we want to remember all the properties that we were just using. I still want to use all those same properties. There's nothing that changes there. Um, the big difference though is when I'm doing this, I have a division sign here. And um, I could try to separate those first, but the key is whenever you see um, a division sign, you, you want to do that first unless there's some parentheses with exponents that we can take out. But normally when you want to expand, you do want to kind of separate this. We don't want a fraction anymore. It's like when you solve an equation, you want to get rid of a fraction. It's the same here. So according to our rules, there was the quotient property that we went over, which states that when you have a division sign, you can separate it with subtraction. So I can do log base 2, 7x plus 3, and minus log base 2y. And the key concept here behind expanding is you only want items as in one variable or one number. You don't want anything else along with it is the point that we're getting at. Um, so I don't want like a y squared in the back here or a 2y. I want to separate everything so it is one term or one number behind each log. So this one is set is basically the point I'm getting at. This right here, log base 2y, that's set. And the reason why it's set is because it's just a y back here all by itself. But this out in front is not. I have a 7, and I have an x to the third. It's 7 times x to the third. So I can remember the uh, product uh, rule with powers here. And I can pull those apart because it's multiplication. I can use. Uh, separate those with addition. So notice how I separated this with addition in between here. So this got separated into log base 2 7 and log base 2 x cubed. Now once again this was done. We just have a y here. And this is now done because it's just a number. It's just a 7. But this is not. This is an x cubed. I'm looking for this to be just an x. So we have to remember that last rule we were talking about with exponents. That last property states that if we have an exponent inside a log, I can move that out to the front. So basically I'm going to take that 3, move it out into the front, and now I just have a 7 all by itself, I just have an x all by itself, I just have a y all by itself. The point when you expand is you want to just have numbers all by themselves or variables all by themselves, and that is what we have. Example 3, this is an example of doing it backwards. This is the example um, of looking at this in terms of everything being expanded and when everything's expanded you want to put it all together so now when you're looking at putting things together the first thing you want to do before you put anything together is you need to use the power rule first and move any numbers in front um, of logs uh, back to exponents so notice how this 2 is hanging out here in front I need to get rid of that 2 is the point I'm getting at so to get rid of that 2 I can move it back up to an exponent to give me 2 squared and we should know what 2 squared is right um, that's 4, but it says, what do you do with addition signs, right? What am I supposed to do with this addition? Well, with addition, I can combine those two together with multiplication. So really, I have 6 times 2 squared. And then what do you do with subtraction? Well, subtraction um, with logs is like saying division. So really, I can combine these together by making it uh, 6 times 2 squared all over 3 because this is subtraction means division. So I can simplify this a little more if I wanted to. 2 squared is 4 and 6 times 4 is 24 and 24 divided by 3 is 8. So log 8. The change of base formula again we kind of already went over this but once again the change of base formula um, this is how you can type logs in on your calculator. This is how you can actually get honest to god answers on your calculator. Um, what you do is you take the log of the big number over the log of the base is basically what this is saying. So if I had log base 2 7 it would be on my calculator I would type in log 7 divided by log 2. Remember the base goes on the bottom. Okay. Um, so change of base formula also works with natural logs as well so I could rewrite this as ln of u over ln of c. So this is just here to keep in mind that if you wanted to, you could rewrite that with um, natural log as well. 
So with example four, if you were to use a calculator um, on this, basically when you'd write on your calculator, you would do log seven over log three. Um, so log seven divided by log three, and you would get um, your answer, or you could actually do the natural log of seven over the natural log of three. Either or will give you 1.771. So here's your homework um, on properties of logs for 8.5. Um, if you get the change of base formula, you can get any answer on the calculator. So this shouldn't be too time consuming for you tonight, and it shouldn't be that difficult. But once again, if you have any homework, please, 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 please feel free to uh, email me. Thank you.